<laughs> Morning. Morning. Uh, we're just discussing uh, the most important topic in the world ever, just right now. Yeah. Our plans for the royal wedding. Our plans for the wedding. Uh, weather today, do you know what? Mild enough actually outside this morning. It's not a bad morning out there. It's a little bit grey in places, but the good news is later on today, once a little bit of mist and drizzle clear, uh, generally sunny spells and temperatures quite mild, actually 17 or 18 degrees today. So not a bad day. So it looks good. I'm, um, like, as you can tell, probably so not excited about the royal wedding. Like, not at all. But I've realised over the past 24 hours that I have the ability to get excited about anything. Okay. Because... Now we're making plans for the royal wedding, you and me. This is true, actually, yeah. This all started yesterday with a joke about us getting flights to London. And yeah. now it's evolved into so much more. Yeah. We were, <laughs> kind of, we were thinking yesterday, we were throwing around the idea of going to either Luton or Stansted Airport, flying from Kerry Airport, and doing a report from the airport. We just thought it'd be fun. For nothing else but for crack. But, uh, yeah, for shits anyway. and giggles. Four days. Four days. Four uh, days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Uh, right, okay. Um, sorry, and the, sorry. The reason we're talking about this morning is because someone in, is having a party. Yeah, you can go along and watch it. Do you know those sponsored posts that appear in your feed on Facebook? I was just telling Elaine. I was just, I was just talking about it just a few minutes ago. I saw it this morning. It, there's a hotel in Killarney having a royal wedding party on Saturday, and they're not the only one because I know of another place no. in Donegal doing it as well. And there was one, yeah, cancelled, wasn't there, or something? Was there another one cancelled? Yeah. Right. So yeah. like they're offering kind of like uh, you know two and three course meal deals or whatever with glasses of prosecco, all that kind of crack. Uh, during the royal wedding to come along they, and watch it on their big screens they'll be more well fed than the people at the actual royal it's wedding true too, yeah. okay uh, trends this morning uh, not the royal wedding uh, Claire Byrne Live is trending that's because they had their second referendum debate last night uh, Martin O'Neill is trending he was one of the people did he storm the pitch after oh, this happened you? yeah saw a couple of photos right a controversial end to Ireland's under 17 European Championship uh, game at Chesterfield last night Okay, so it went to a penalty shootout uh, against the Netherlands and then the ref said that the Irish keeper had moved off his line mm-hmm. when the penalty was being taken. That meant he get I didn't know that would mean a, a yellow card, by the way. Didn't either, I didn't um, know it was a rule, yeah. That meant a second yellow card for the keeper who was then sent off and then the Dutch, next Dutch lad stet- stepped up and scored, mm-hmm. the, scored the retake. The retake yeah. So absolutely awful end for the um, Ireland under 17. Did he move? Did you see it? I did see it. Uh, okay. My my own opinion, and it is, this isn't just the green tinted glasses. Now, yeah. my own opinion is he did nothing that no other keeper in the history of the f- of the sport has done. Yeah, yeah. And I don't believe he ran off his line. I believe he adjusted his feet, and yes, he jumped to save it. But I actually saw a slow mo version of it. And as the kick is taken, he's entitled to come off the line. Yeah, didn't yeah. come off the line before, so I, I think, think it's very very harsh. I think it's something that's very inconsistently refereed. That whole yeah. referee move, or sorry, goalkeeper moving on the line. It was very harsh. Uh, anyway. Kevin Kevin O'Brien is trending and um, that is because yesterday Kevin O'Brien became Ireland's first ever player to make a test century in cricket. Um, Ireland have forced that to a fifth day yes, against I, Pakistan. I started watching it oh, uh, yeah. with, with plans of watching you on the telly after. Oh yeah. And well, the cricket. I fell asleep watching the cricket. The cricket made I woke up and it was asleep. still on. I fell asleep for an hour and a half and it was still on. I'd say nobody saw me on the telly yesterday. Sorry. Because anyway. of the cricket. Sorry. Um, yesterday, actually, uh, around lunchtime, I said, I wonder how Ireland are doing in the cricket. And I Googled it. Did you my really? phone, right? Yeah. Fair play. I was like, I wonder how Ireland are doing in the cricket now, in case anyone asks me on the telly. <laughs> and then I just, I, lo- I got the score up and I was just like. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't I know, know if yeah. Ireland are winning or losing. It was just loads I of numbers. I came, when I got home yesterday from work, Ireland were 166 to 6. Is that good? I have no idea. Seems good. I woke like up 166 were, is way more than 6. When I woke up, they were 186 to 6. That's even better, I'd say. Or maybe worse. If it's golf, it's worse. I don't know what happened, but anyway. Go Um, Ireland! Woo! uh, Margot Kidder trending, and sadly, the Superman actress, famous, of course, for playing Lois Lane, uh, died yesterday at the age of 69, and she was somebody who spoke out a lot about her own mental health Mm -hmm. problems and her battle with bipolar disorder. I read a quote from her once. She was really open about it, really frank about it, and she said something like she had mood swings that could knock over a building, which is a pretty good way of... I'm describing that. So that's very sad news and I really liked her as Lois Lane. I thought uh, she was She was class. the best Lois yeah. Lane actually, yeah. Yeah, she was. Uh, the papers this morning, the Examiner has a picture from Tralee yesterday from the square in Tralee standing strong as the headline and it was the silent protest with Emma Vic Fahuna and others who gathered um, uh, with the cervical cancer scandal continuing but it's a picture from Tralee on the front page there. Church hands over just 11 schools despite diversity drivers. The other uh, main headline and journalists fail to back up Taylor McCabe lie claim and that story that Elaine mentioned about the, the farce at the Euro under 17s game is also 
also in their sports section this morning. The Times Ireland edition then says dozens die as US opens new Jerusalem embassy. That there photograph. is huge. Yeah, it's awful. It's like something out of a war movie, isn't it? That's I, really awful. I read this morning as well that 58 are dead, including a baby. Who uh, there was 57 people shot and a baby died as a result of poisoning from uh, tear gas. Uh, that's, that's on the awful, front page there. Mm. Uh, the Sun with just four days to go. Megan's dad. I won't attend wedding. They've actually commented on this. Yeah, I've seen this. This yeah. morning, they've um, Megan and Harry have actually commented. They've said, leave her dad alone. Yeah, like, leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, he sounds like a troubled fella. I feel really sorry for him. He I staged do, I pepper, do too. pepperetti shots. Yeah, and it, it just sounded awful. Yeah. Um, and the main headline there is married soap actress Shame Rat Naroon, TV star guilty of sex act on Woman in Van. Uh, this is an actor who was famous for playing a guy in Ross Naroon. He was uh, found guilty in um, in court yesterday uh, for uh, a rape on a woman who was 20 at the time. And the Irish Times this morning says Palestine, Palestine's uh, count dead after a day of carnage at Gaza border. And senior officials told women that they would get audit results according to the HSE in the Irish Times this morning. Those are the front page stories. Now, did you bring it in, our post did, from yesterday? It's, it's so something big happened for us yesterday in the office. And... Um, we got a parcel in the post. At, I said, what's going on with my hair today? Sorry. I, it's I disgraceful. It's a lot, I realise, that before anybody starts commenting. But I didn't want to say it, but it's disgraceful. I kind of, I ran the brush through it, okay? But, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. I, I just think Radio Curry should have a hairdresser on site for me. We got a letter. Anyway, we got a letter. I won't read the whole thing because it's quite long. And we got CDs. And this is one of our listeners, Rich, who's... A pal of the show now, I would say, at this stage. Yeah, he's like an executive producer in the yeah. show at this stage. We yeah. love Rich, and he loves his music, and he's decided to come up with mixtapes from Kerry's Full Breakfast, proper inlay cards. I haven't said that for years, inlay cards. Now, that's backwards there, but you can see it. The Morrissey Mix and the Kinsella Collection. So we each have a bit of work in this. He's even printed on the CDs. He even photoshopped us to make us look hotter than we really are. Thanks, Rich. Oh, yeah. um, so what we're going to do is, and Rich, thanks, and we've Thank got a great you, laugh You're out of it. You're a legend, yeah. Um, it's kind of like a combination of our favourite music that we've picked on the wheel of anything. Yeah. Now, here's the cool thing. There is no track listing with these. Purposely, he said in his letter he didn't put a track list because he wanted to leave each track as a surprise. Yeah. So we genuinely haven't listened to these yet. No. Nope. So, so tell them what the plan is. What we're going to do is we're going to, each day over the next couple of weeks, we're going to just play a track. So we're going to start with, I think we're going to start with yours, track is that one. Mine? Yeah, okay. Andrew track one today and we're going to hear what it is and it could be anything. Yeah. And we're just going to play it and we don't care. What if it's something really unsuitable for the breakfast show? Uh, well, to be fair to Rich, I think he knows us well enough that he's picked songs we've picked already yeah. ourselves. So I, stuff Sometimes I feel like Rich knows us better than we know ourselves yeah. and maybe he knows the show better than we know it. It's brilliant in fairness. He's put a lot of work into this. He has said, I'll give you some of the stuff he's put on how many yeah, times yeah. we do. Yeah, we he can. says uh, he, it features one hit wonders, duets, cheesy songs, girls with names in the title and so on. And he does say, spoiler alert, we do know of one song. In fact, there's one song on Elaine's collection from a fluffy haired girl band about a very game woman or women picking up a rain drenched hitchhiker and then spending the night planting a tree. Game. Um, so uh, there's a few crackers, we believe, on the CDs, but we genuinely, Did because you say there's no. spend the night planting a tree. Planting a tree, yes. Um, we've no idea what's on them or what order they're in and so on. So uh, a bit of crack. So we'll play. So my one's up first. Uh, oh, don't do it. God. I'm actually really bad at it. Is there something wrong with my fingers that I can't do this better? Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, isn't it? It's that, it's isn't it? But isn't it just that? Yeah. Oh, I just leave all my fingers like this. Yeah. Uh, also, Elaine has brought me present, holiday present stuff. Listen, it's not a holiday without a Toblerone to break your teeth off. This is true. So, um... Show them the towel. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I buy towels for people. A lot. Uh, uh, lightweight towels. gym towel. Andrew's gym guy. Don't know if any of you know this. He doesn't talk about it that much. After nine. Is this the just for covering my modesty? Hey, it's an extra large. <laughs> it's low. I don't know why we took it. I don't know why you. I don't know anyway. Okay. Right, we must do the radio bit. So uh, have a good day. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Okay. And I'll put this towel away. Okay, have you a great day. Will I, will I, what do yeah, I hit yeah. finish? Yeah. That button.